Everybody, uh, first off, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, today we're going to make a titanium bowl, so follow along. Hey guys, we're going to make a titanium textured titanium bowl. So I got a sheet of titanium, and it's um, 12 by like 24. So I'm going to make a six by six titanium bowl. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is lay it out. Yep, that is six. Here we are. All right, bandsaw time. All right, guys. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, cut the um, titanium with my bandsaw, and we're gonna get uh, a square. Hey guys, all I'm gonna do now is uh, take a two by seventy two belt grinder, a Wilmot uh, belt grinder, and I'm going to attempt to make this flat, and we'll go around all four sides. I'm going to do and put a tool up in real fast. Okay guys, I want to make a clip edge bowl, so um, we're going to go over to the um, height gauge and we're going to draw some lines. Alright guys, now I'm just going to take some black marker so I can see some scribed lines. And I'm going to draw some lines where I'm going to bandsaw and sand this. So. There we go. Band saw it. Nice. All right, we got it. We did it. Back to the sander. Okay. Uh, now we're just gonna belt sand all the edges clean. Okay, this is a scotch Bright belt. It almost polishes and softens the corners. Um, and I'm going to need to get rid of the burrs. So, here we go. Hey guys, the next step is to texture the titanium. And while I have a texturing hammer I've made in the past, I'm going to make another one right now so you guys can see what it takes. So all I need to do is um, chuck up uh, a hammer in my vise and do some um, grinding to it. And so I'll show you that right now. Hey guys, just got finished making a texturing hammer with a cutoff saw. If you ever use a cutoff disc in a grinder, be very, very careful. These are very dangerous. They can shatter if you don't introduce them into the metal the right way or you flex them the wrong direction. They're really dangerous. I've seen them come, come apart. Having said that, I just got finished making a texturing hammer out of a small, cheapy uh, Harbor Freight hammer, and uh, I'm going to test it on my titanium bowl now and see what we got. Now it's time to texture the titanium. I'm just going to make sure that the Made in USA and my Wilmot stamp, which is my maker's marker on the bottom. And uh, 
I want to make sure I keep the titanium flat. I mean, you don't want to hold it up like this when you hit it, or you're just going to hurt yourself or uh, bend the titanium. Okay guys, I think we got it. Now all I gotta do is shape it into the shape of a bowl with some um, dies I've got from a power hammer. We'll do that next. What are we? Hey guys, so the next thing I'm gonna do is um, shape this into a bowl using bowl dies on a power hammer. Now, my power hammer, my hands are gonna be dangerously close to the dies but I'm going to be really careful and you'll notice as long as my hands don't protrude in further than the rectangle is square then I can't get bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my hands vertical and I'm not going to let them get too close to the part that's going up and down or I'm going to mash my fingers I've made hundreds of bowls I'll never hurt myself yet yet next we just need to shape the textured flat plate into a bowl shape using bowl dies on my power hammer so here we go We're about there now. I have to go. Hey guys, uh, now I just got to clean uh, the bowl. It, there's a lot of rust in my dies. So let's just get her clean. So, if you're going to have a pretty titanium bowl, you must use Fantastic. It's a heavy duty, all purpose American cleaner. Every workshop should have one. Of course, mine's turned off. Golly, this is not working for me today. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Huh? How can you live without Fantastic? First off, thanks for following me. We used some Fantastic cleaner on the titanium bowl and it made it fantastically clean. So if you need to get something fantastically clean, get some Fantastic. Hashtag Fantastic. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, peoples. Um, before we anodize titanium, we have to clean it. And I have some Winx cleaner here. It's a rust remover. And I'm going to put this in there until it bubbles. You're going to see a bubble. It's probably going to happen in like five to ten seconds. And then we're going to pull it out. Okay? 